Hi, there are some situations where you need to reset your Nexus 4 to factory settings. For example, you plan to sell your phone and would like to wipe out all existing data. Or your Android became slow and unresponsive. Or finally, you forgot your PIN or pattern to unlock your phone. There are two simple ways to reset your phone to factory settings. I will describe both of them. Just please note that all your existing data will be wiped out from the phone. If your phone has been configured to backup your personal data such as contacts or photos on your Google account, then this data can be restored after reset. Although all applications and their associated data will be destroyed permanently. Okay, let's try it the first way to reset your phone. So we, we go to menu, find settings. Then I will go to backup and reset option. And I see that I have factory data reset option available. Please note that I have associated backup account, which is my Gmail account, lukeluke2007 at gmail.com. My personal data, such as contacts, and photos is automatically backed up to this account and when I reset my phone and link again my Android phone to this account then all my personal data will be restored. Okay let, let's proceed to factory data reset. So I press factory data reset button. I have to confirm if I really want to erase all data from my phone. Yeah. I click reset phone button. I have to draw my unlock pattern. In case you have pin number set up, you have to provide your pin number. So I draw my unlock pattern. And then I have last confirmation question. If I'm really sure to reset my phone and destroy all data and applications. And as is written here, you cannot reverse this action. I will not do that uh, because I don't want to lose all my data, but simply pressing Reset Everything button will reset your phone to factory settings. Just please make sure that you have more than 20% battery available or better uh, to connect your phone to charger so that reset process will not break uh, because, uh, your, because of your empty battery. Okay, this was the first option to reset your data. Now I will show the second way to reset your phone to factory settings. Uh, it will be more hardware way and it is very useful if you if you cannot access uh, your Android account, for example, because uh, you forgot your PIN or password to the phone or your Google account has been locked on Android phone. Uh, to reset your phone uh, in the second way, I have to power off my phone. If our next 4 is turned off, we can proceed to the second option of resetting Android to factory settings. To do that, we'll have to access Android boot menu. For that, we simply press power button and volume down button. And we have bootloader menu available. Using volume buttons, we can navigate through the available menu. And for resetting our phone, we have to choose recovery mode. To do, to do that, we find recovery mode option using volume buttons and accept this option using power button. In a few seconds, we should see Android logo on the screen. And now we'll have to access factory setting options. To do that, we press power button and volume up button at the same time. And we have Android system recovery options available. We have four options available here. In our interest is wiping data and factory reset that will reset your phone to the state 
as you got it from the shop. Again, please remember to connect your phone to charger or, or please make sure that there is enough battery in order to complete factory reset properly. We choose wipe data factory reset option and simply accept it using power button. Of course, I will not do that because I don't want to delete my and data on Nexus 4, but it is simple as, as I showed. I hope you enjoyed this video and hints that I provided will be useful for you.